What's up guys, today we'll be fixing the structural damage on this kayak. It's got quite a large hole in the side here, so we'll be looking at how to repair that in the easiest way possible. Make sure to wear a long sleeve shirt and pants, as well as some closed in shoes to protect your skin from the fiberglass. The parts and materials you need to repair fiberglass are blue painter's tape, paper towel, acetone, sandpaper. I've got three different grits here, 400 grit, 120 grit, and 80 grit. You're also going to need some fiberglass resin, hardener, black sharpie, and some chopped fiberglass matting. These are the tools you need to repair fiberglass. Some measuring jugs to measure out the fiberglass resin, a cheap paint tray to store the brush when you're not using it, a stirring stick to stir up the resin and hardener, a fiberglass roller to remove the air from the fiberglass resin, an angle grinder with a sanding disc and the last two tools you can either have a hand sander if you're on a really cheap budget or if you have a very large area to repair I recommend getting one of these electric sanders they'll make the job much easier. The safety items you need while working with fiberglass include nitrile gloves, a mask, P2 rated, earplugs and a set of safety glasses. Before you start sanding Put on your safety glasses, gloves, ear protection and mask. To start with, using your angle grinder, grind out all the damaged fiberglass and usually in this case there's going to be more damage than what you see. So when you start grinding you'll see other pieces of damaged fiberglass further back from where the hull has been damaged. <laughs> I created a backing for the hole by chopping up thin pieces of marine ply and bending them to shape. I then taped it in place and now it's ready for the fiberglass sheets to be laid over. This way the fiberglass sheet has something solid to set to and as it dries it will retain the shape of the kayak. If I didn't have this in place what would happen is the fiberglass sheeting would sag into the hole as it's drying. We're going to draw a template of just how big the hole is and tear apart the correct size of the fiberglass matting before we lay it over onto the kayak. Next, use some tracing paper to lay over the hole and use a black sharpie to trace around the outside. This will give us a template as to how large our first layer of fiberglass needs to be. Let's cut out your template so that we can lay it over the sheet of fiberglass. Before you start handling the fiberglass, make sure to put on your gloves, mask and safety glasses. Now lay the template over the fiberglass mat. Allow approximately three centimeters overlap of the required size. Only mix the required amount of resin and hardener the job requires, as the resin will start to gel and cure in 30 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius. Mix the resin and hardener as per the ratio instructions. On hot days, 1.5 mil to 2 mil of hardener for every 100 milliliters of resin. One milliliter of hardener is around 45 drops. After mixing the resin for a little while, you'll notice the color of the resin changes. If it doesn't change, it means that you don't have enough hardener mixed in with the resin. In this case, just add some more. Prepare the surface by wiping it down with some acetone and paper towel. Surfaces should be clean and dry and shouldn't have any paint left on them. Brush a wet coat of resin onto the prepared surface. Position the fiberglass mat onto the wet resin. Lightly dab another coat of resin onto the fiberglass matting, remembering not to displace or move the fiberglass matting from its position. Try not to brush the resin onto the mat because it can introduce air bubbles. Ensure you have thoroughly wet out the fiberglass before moving on to the next step. Using a fiberglass roller, gently roll out the fibers to remove any trapped air. Don't do this quickly or aggressively as it may move the mat itself and displace the fiberglass matting. It's important to clean out your fiberglass roller just using some acetone and a brush. If you don't clean it out, the resin can set and the fiberglass roller will be unusable. The resin takes 24 hours to fully cure. 
You may add additional layers after the 24 hours, but before you do that, light sanding is required to improve the bonding performance between the fiberglass layers. After waiting 24 hours for the first layer of fiberglass to cure, I added a second layer of fiberglass for added strength on the inside of the kayak. After sanding it down, wiping it over with acetone once again, and mixing up some additional resin and hardener to lay down the final layer. I followed up with a third layer of fiberglass matting on the outside of the kayak, finishing it off with the fiberglass roller to get rid of any air bubbles before letting it cure. After it's cured, next up is preparing the repair for paint. So this is what we started with, and this is after the fiberglass repair and paint. I didn't paint the whole kayak, just repainted the stripes from a yellow to a green. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have repaired anything with fiberglass or if you have any questions. There'll be links in the description to the tools and materials I use to make it really easy for you. And as always, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when my next video is live. See you in the next one.